Hi guys, it's Kelly here and I'm back with another video. Today's video is featuring some products from Erin Lee Creative. This is the sentiment scent is called Yes Queen and then the um, Arches Hot Foil, the Arches Dyes, and the Jumbo Smile Dyes. The Jumbo Smile also comes in a hot foil if you're interested in that, but I chose to use the dyes so that I could use some beautiful glitter paper that um, she has as well. So some of you, if you hot foil, may have wondered, like I did, is it better to ink blend before or after foiling? And so that is what I wanted to try out here. I picked a rainbow because I like rainbows. You could really do any color that you wanted, but honestly, rainbows are pretty. And so that's why I chose what I chose. I'm using Distress Ink. And so this is going to be the one that we um, ink blend first and then do the hot foiling on top of. And then we will hot foil one and then we will put the ink blending over top. Now, if you are not into hot foiling, and I know it's like taking the world by storm right now, but that doesn't mean that it's for you. And if it's not for you, that's totally okay. I'm going to be 100% honest. I don't know. I think that it, I love the sentiments. Like that is what draws me back to it is the sentiments because I think that the foiled sentiments are so classy. Um, but I don't necessarily know that like all over hot foiling is for me. Um, I get and I have another actually hot foiling video that I haven't released yet either. Um, but I struggle with it a little bit. My brain does not comprehend. I watch Yana Smakula, who is amazing in everything, not just hot foiling. If you're not familiar with Yana, you need to watch her videos because she is brilliant. Um, but... I struggle with like she does all these little like hinge methods and how to get everything exactly placed where she wants to and I struggle with that like my brain does not comprehend how to do the reverse of the layout in order to make it work um, and so I, I do I, I struggle with it I'm just being honest um, but I also struggle with the uses like because I'm a colorist I think and so just like I don't do a ton of large background stamps um or a ton of solid stamps like some things just aren't in my wheelhouse and maybe it's not in your wheelhouse either now I have some found like I said I love the the sentiments that are hot foiled like stop it they're so classy um but I have found some things that I do enjoy using the hot foil for and so basically that's where the arches in this particular set that's where the arches die cuts come in because i like breaking it down um and not having like a full piece i feel like the full piece is too much for me so here what i'm doing is i am just heat setting this um i'm also just laying it on my um glimmer machine while it heats up to further make sure it's dry. I want to make sure there's no moisture on there so that my hot foil doesn't stick to something that I don't want it to. And so you'll notice here that my cardstock is the same exact size as my hot foil panel. Um, this is one of those things that like it can be challenging to get it to line up. And so for the next piece, you're going to see that I'm going to have a... Um, I'm going to have a bigger piece because it does make it easier for me to uh, not have to be so particular about lining it up. But here what I'm doing is I'm just feeling for the edges and making sure it's in the right place, set my timer, wait for that, and then put on my two little glimmer plates and then run this through my platinum. And I did notice that it did not completely foil. Um, there's a section in the upper right where I didn't get really good coverage. Um, and so if I was trying to use this as a full piece, like that would be a problem. But since I already know that I'm going to be die cutting it out, it's really not a problem for me. I'm going to tell you that the reason, and I know what the reason is, I know the reason that it didn't come out well, it's because I'm using Nina solar white cardstock, which is not necessarily recommended for hot foiling, but I do like the way my ink blends on it. And so I decided to risk it. And knowing that I was going to um, 
that I was gonna, you know, die cut them out. I wasn't super worried about it. Here, I did manage to flip the sandwich, this time successfully. You'll see in that other video that I told you about that I haven't shared yet. I, I messed it up three times. I'm not even kidding you. Um, but I was able to kind of tape it in place to keep it straight and then um, go in and remove the cardstock. This is a instead of being like an a2 size four and a quarter by five and a half this is um five and a half by eight i didn't trim it in half like i normally would um and then obviously if you have a solid plate which i do uh you could use the extra as well i didn't think that that was necessary like i, I didn't think that i would use it um so here now this one is hot foiled and then we're adding the distress ink over top of it and I'm going to be honest with you, I noticed absolutely no difference between the two. Whether you do it before or you do it after, the, as far as the ink blending is concerned, it didn't take off any of my foil doing the ink blending on top of it. It didn't make it any less shiny. Um, so really, I think that this is just a preference thing, whichever one you want to do first. Um, but for me, I I really, truly, genuinely did not notice even the slightest bit of difference in how shiny it was or in how it, um, you know, looked or stayed on the card. I, there, I had no issues either way. So you do it whichever way you want to do it. I think I like... Um, I think I will probably do the foiling first in the future because then if something happens where I do want to use it as a full piece and maybe I don't get a great um, result with the foiling, I won't have wasted all of my time ink blending. But um, if I know I'm going to be die cutting it like I knew with this one, then I certainly will not be worried about it and would be just fine ink blending first. Um, so yeah, so that's that. Today is a very busy day for us. Um, so I can't remember if I shared with you or not, Peanut decided to uh, do basketball again this year. And last year, they did not start um, their practices or their games until after the beginning of the year. This year, for some reason, they decided to start at the end of November. Um, so we're like heading into the holiday season and now juggling this new basketball schedule. His coach chose a very, <laughs> um, a very unfortunate time for the practices because there is so much traffic on that particular road at that particular time. Here, I'm just trimming this down now to an A2 size card front. I'm probably going to trim it again. Don't worry. Um, no, not this one. I trimmed the other piece. Disregard. Um, so then I'm going to, here I'm just showing you, this one on the left is the one that we ink blended first, and this one on the right is the one that we ink blended uh, after the foiling, and they look exactly the same to me, um, as far as like shininess, as I expressed before. Now, obviously, on the left-hand side, there is some more that is missing, but again, I think that that is my paper. For die cutting these, I do want to just warn you, even with low tack tape, you can remove some of your foil with the tape. So when I'm taping my dies in place, I'm making sure that the tape only touches the outside. It doesn't touch the actual inside of the dies for the pieces that I'm going to use. This piece up at the top here, this little tiny arch um, up at the top, I am also going to use that on the right hand card to cut out another piece so that I have some extra layers. Um, but anyway, so uh, yeah, so it's just the the timing of the the practice is not great. So Wednesdays have become... Um, crockpot nights in our house. <laughs> so here, this is the Viva Las Vegas um, cardstock uh, set that she has, that Erin has. It's got a gray, a gold, a silver, and a black. I chose the black. This is really good weight cardstock because a lot of times with uh, like specialty paper, sometimes they're a little bit thinner. This one is not. Um, and so I cut the word smile out of it and its shadow out of both the glitter and black and then I glued it down. Um, I will tell you that I thought that it would be more visible, like the glitter and the black would have more of a difference. Um, in, in the light, it does, but when you're just looking at it with no like lights shining on it, um, 
it doesn't as much. And so because of that, I chose to add in a white shadow, which I think is a really cool effect. It worked better on the black shadow cardstock um, than it did on the glitter shadow cardstock. And so that one, I ultimately ended up cutting another smile, like the words out of white. And then I just adhered them right on top. So that one actually was like double stacked. Um, and so it had a lot of good dimension and nobody will ever be any the wiser that there was black underneath it to begin with. So Crock-Pot Nights. In addition to it being Crock-Pot Nights, this particular week I have picked up two shifts it, at Dispatch. So when I work, I typically work until the middle of the night. I come home, I grab a couple of hours of sleep, and then I get up to take Peanut to school. My husband wonderfully takes um, our daughter, the little miss, to daycare for me so I don't have to get up even earlier, which really the difference is only a half an hour. But when you're only getting four and a half hours of sleep, that half an hour is a huge difference. So I'm super grateful for that. Um, so that is what happened last night. And now because I'm going in again tonight, I had to catch another nap because four and a half hours is not going to carry me to the wee hours of the AM. You know what I'm saying? Um, so today was just, it's just a busy day. I'm, it's not a super productive day for me. In fact, this video is the only thing that I was able to really accomplish besides just little things of, um, you know, getting a game plan together for a card that I will actually have time to make tomorrow and not tonight. Um, so yeah, just they, they've become just busier days. Here is where we're adhering that white. Now you may be asking yourself like, Kelly, you already put that white shadow on there. Um, don't you need to remove it? No, because really you just blended in with the white cardstock and you couldn't even see it. Um, so yeah, so that's what's, that's what's happening with us. So for my crock pot meal, I am going with a pot roast. That's what I'm going with today uh, because there is um, like it, it's a whatever a three, four pound pot roast like that will feed our family for like the next two to three days. So once I have the pot roast, usually I make vegetable beef soup out of it. Sometimes I do barbecue beef. Sometimes I do beef stroganoff. Like I have a couple of other ones that um, like we just eat beef for three days. <laughs> like It just is what it is. I got to use it and get rid of it. Um so I am trying a new recipe with that, uh, and hopefully it will be a little bit better than the one I usually do. I mean, it's not bad, but it's not great. Um, so here I am doing the sentiment um, that's from that sentiment set. Uh, what is it? Yes, Queen. It's super cute. What a cute name. Um, but this one says, this is your year, I think. Smile, this is your year. And so I thought that these would be cute for like a birthday or just a general kind of encouragement. Uh, and that is what led me to choose the sentiment. And these kind of have a like mod, groovy, kind of hippie vibe going on, um, which I think is kind of fun. You know, I like bright colors and rainbow colors and that's kind of right up my alley. Um, so yeah, just very, <laughs> very not productive in the working today, but productive in the family today. And so I'm going to have to take that as a win because by the time we get done with practice and get home, like I should be able to make the extra sides, um, which really isn't much. It's like salad and bread, uh, cause everything is in that crock pot meal which are my favorite kind I don't like the ones that are like here just do the meat and then make all the sides on the side and I was like what is the point of using the crock pot I want to dump it and go that's what I want um and I also don't really love the ones that like uh, the whole basis is like cream of fill in the blank uh I feel like all the crock pot recipes have those and I try to avoid them if I can so um yeah, I think that's pretty much all that's going on. I don't pick up as much, like, as many shifts, especially this, like, per this time of year. Um, just, like, because it's been Caitlin's birthday, and then it was Thanksgiving, and now we're coming up. I, like, still have to do my Christmas shopping. Um, and so I have to knock those things out. So it's just been a little bit busy. And as you guys know, like this last week here on the channel, it's been a little bit busy. So I think just those two things colliding at the same time 
at the same time have made me feel uh, just a touch overwhelmed. But I think it's okay. I think we're we're once we get into a routine with the practice um and then the, oh the other thing we have going on today is my dude needs a haircut like he got his haircut right after his sister's birthday but he wants to wear it long on top and i've told him that i'm fine if he wants to have longer hair that that's fine with me however he has to take care of it like if you want it you have to brush it that's all i'm saying you can't just be walking around you know with unbrushed knotted tangled hair um so he's struggling a little bit with that here, you guys know I can't throw away my scraps. Like, I just can't. And to make the card a little bit different, I decided that I was going to trim down my white uh, card front. And then that way I could mount it on this scrap that I had of my hot foiling uh, to make the card a little bit more interesting because I had just cut this one arch for it. And even though it is bigger, it felt a little meh. And so I thought the rainbow uh, around the outside edge made it just a touch more interesting. And I have no regrets about that. The adhering of it was a little bit tricky because like I have no middle section. I have a very little middle section. So I put uh, glue around the edges of the white cardstock and then I put glue in the the li little rainbow section that I did have. Now, once this gets mounted on a card base, you would never be any the wiser that those other pieces are missing, which is the great thing about using up you know, your scraps. You don't have to have a full piece. You really just need four intact corners and you can make it work. I do it all the time. Um, so yeah, so he doesn't really want to have to maintain his hair. So I'll be interested to see what he chooses because I always let him pick. Um, and miraculously enough, I, I think, and I think this is why he wants to wear his hair longer nowadays, his highlights that we did way back in May on his birthday are still, they've grown out to like tips now, but they're still in there. And I have a feeling that is why he doesn't want to cut it, because if he cut it like he normally did, those highlights would be gone. And I told him that he could have them again, but I just wouldn't be doing them. You know how hard it is to like foil very short hair. Oh my gosh. I mean, I've always been in awe of my, you know, um, like hairstylists because they work all this magic and, you know, figure out how to, they part things and lay things so that they look natural. And I'm very appreciative of their craft. Um, but dude, it was so hard to foil his short little hair. So I will not be doing it myself again. I will be finding somebody else if he wants it again. But I have a sneaky suspicion that is why he wants to grow his hair out is because he doesn't want to lose the blonde. So maybe I might make that section, you know, a suggestion today. Like, hey, if it's the blonde, like we could always have it redone. You don't have to keep it long where you're not maintaining it kind of thing. Um, so, yeah, so that's what that's a little glimpse into the Wednesdays of Kelly. That's what I <laughs> that's what I have for you today. Here I just added um, a little bit of foam tape on either end of the sentiments because I have so many layers stacked up. Um, I wanted them to lay and I needed them to be raised up a little bit in order to do that. And then you can see all the glitter from the cardstock and all the glimmer from the hot foil. Really super cute kind of fun cards. And that is both of them. I didn't do anything else to them. So thank you guys so much for joining me. If you'd like to see the rest of what Erin has come up with, she's got a, a wonderful collection that she released for the fall and winter. I will link her below. And then I will catch you guys on the next video. Bye.